I'm recording a 2-4 video today, and I've got a couple hands to go right off the bat, so I'm just going to jump right in. Cold calling these fives against the cutoff open, very standard, I'm calling any pair there. Uh, as you saw in my last video, I like the pairs in position against a preflop raiser here. This is a pretty awful board for me though, so... I think I'm going to bet once when checked to here, just pretty much as a pure bluff, trying to get him off overs with no real draw, or another small pair. That worked out, but I was not putting any more money in if called on the flop there. These twos, it's likely somebody checked through the flop with a king or even a bad ace. I don't think I'm in a good spot to bluff at all. I'm just going to let them have it. Still, maybe if it gets checked down, I'm good here, and they both have middle suit connectors or something, but I think it's still very likely somebody out there has a king, so. This is the first video I'm recording live in a while, so you'll have to excuse me if there are, uh, couple little lags in here where I run out of anything to say, but got four tables going shorthanded, so there should be a lot going on. This guy, Kate Chip, is pretty aggressive, so I don't... Th I was going to say before the cold caller that I don't think I can fold the ace-queen here. Now I have to decide what I think that cold call means. Um... Sometimes it's a big hand, a lot of the time it's something like jacks or tens that might not call the push. I think I'm just going to ship it in here. I think I take it down as much as half the time, maybe more, and have decent equity when called. Hmm, that sucks. So yeah, to elaborate a little further on why I think that was a push, I think Kate Chip is real wide there and is folding everything, but like queens, maybe jacks are getting in there. Um, and ace king, I think he's folding everything else because he has to worry about uh, extreme D behind him.